We're now entering the no teleprompter portion of the presentation. So, cheers for no teleprompter. Yeah. Wow, excellent. Um, well, I hope you uh, are not sick yet towards the end of your convention of people talking about how much they love movies and movie theaters, because I'm gonna do that a little bit right this second. I love movies, I love going to movie theaters, I love to see movies in movie theaters. That's what we do at Marvel Studios. We make movies for movie theaters, because that's where movies belong. That's all we've ever done, and I hope that's all we ever do, uh, because I love it. And I love making each movie an event, and having the best picture and the best sound. I love the popcorn buckets that are taking over the world. I really do. I love when a popcorn bucket can capture the zeitgeist and go viral. Um, we have asked Deadpool himself, and I do talk about these characters as if they're real, because they are real to me. We've asked Deadpool to design a popcorn bucket for Deadpool and Wolverine. And I don't want to spoil it, but I will say, there are some movies that inadvertently make crude and rude popcorn buckets, and then there are popcorn buckets designed by Deadpool. Uh, and I look forward to all of you experiencing that uh, for yourself. But, that big screen experience. Uh, there's no better indicator of that than IMAX and what everybody at IMAX does to really bring the attention to the need to get out of your house and go see a movie in as big a screen as possible. We're working on two movies right now, specifically for IMAX. Uh, in a couple of months, we start shooting The Fantastic Four. That film is uh, very, very close to my heart. It's the first time we can utilize these characters within uh, Marvel Studios. We recently announced the cast. We have the great Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards, Vanessa Kirby as Sue Storm, one of tonight's honorees, Joseph Quinn, as the Human Torch, and uh, Emmy Award winner co-star of the Bear, Eben Moss Backrack as Ben Grimm, The Thing. The other movie is shooting right this second as we speak, uh, also for IMAX, and that is Thunderbolts. Yes! Thunderbolts. <laughs> And yes, you'll notice an asterisk at the end of that title. Oh, yeah. That is the official title of the movie, is Thunderbolts with a asterisk. And we won't talk any more about that until after the movie comes out. Uh, now, the amazing cast on this movie, one of whom wanted to take a short break from eating some macaroni and cheese to say a quick hello to you. Movie by an amazing cast, David Harbour, Wyatt Russell, Sebastian Stan reprising his incredible uh, 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 iconic performances, Bucky Barnes, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, it's an amazing and wonderful cast. Um, I've been reading a lot of the press that's been coming out of CinemaCon, and some of the things that theater owners are asking for, and, I, and two things have stuck with me. One, asking for more movies across the calendar, and more different types of movies. And I will say we've had great success in the summer, we've had great success in holiday periods. We've also had success in September, and we've had great success in the February-March spot. And uh, that's what I'm gonna talk about now, is one of our films coming out next February. The other thing you've asked about is the different size and types of movies. And it might sound a little strange to say that Marvel has different types of movies. The size is relative uh, when it comes to a Marvel picture. But about 10 years ago, almost exactly 10 years ago, we released a movie called Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Yes. And in the 10 years that has gone by, that movie, we've made 20, 25 movies since then, it really has, has stayed with the fans and with the audience. And I think that's for two reasons. One is the genre. It is a fast-paced political thriller. It's got big stakes, but there are no aliens, no alien invasions, there's no time travel. It is a ground, relatively grounded action film. And the other thing uh, is it introduced the world to Sam Wilson, played by the great Anthony Mackie. That is what we're doing this coming February, is a film that is another fast-paced, relatively grounded, I say relatively because it is a Marvel movie, grounded action thriller. And in the many, many years uh, since that, Sam Wilson uh, has taken on the mantle of Captain America. Captain America, Brave New World, coming out February 14th. Ladies and gentlemen, say hi to your Captain America, Mr. Anthony Mackie. Saluting you, sir. You must salute the captain. Greatly really appreciate it. You look wonderful. Getting the shield. Tell me. Uh, it was amazing, man. It was everything I thought it would be. There's, you know, nothing that could account for, you know, starting in these movies ten years ago and now having the opportunity to, 
to make my own Marvel movie. But that's neither here nor there. I'm tired of talking about it. We talk about it once a week. I want y'all to see it. Yeah. Because when you see it, uh, you, you, you just gotta see it. Show him, Cam. Show him, Cam. Flip, everybody. It's Captain America, Brave New World. Uh, I'll just say it's Harrison Ford as you've never seen him before in this movie. The final film I'm gonna talk uh, with you about today is our next film releasing this summer, Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> this is a uh, remarkable honor to talk about doing a movie with Ryan Reynolds for the very first time at Marvel Studios as Deadpool, and for the first time since my career started, almost a quarter of a century ago, uh, working with Hugh Jackman again as Wolverine. It is, uh, it is incredible, it is extremely exciting, and I hope you don't mind if I say, it's fucking awesome. Yeah. It's fucking awesome, and the reason I can say it's fucking awesome is because it's an R-rated movie. It's an R-rated movie. Uh, another thing that is fucking awesome is the direct director that we get to work with. He is uh, your honoree for Director of the Year tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sean Levy. Yeah. If I is allowed to say fuck, he kind of needed to say it more than once. I feel like now we're all bonded in this room. I think we feel, I feel like we shared a historic occasion that we all got to hear Kevin Feige, I think say it three times. And uh, somewhere Ryan Reynolds is gleeful, I assure you. Um, He's corrupted us all. Oh no, definitely. This is exactly what he wanted for you. Um, the truth is Ryan and I and Hugh and all of us worked on this movie with, with Kevin. This movie was built for audience joy. That was our North Star and it was a blast to make. It was a blast to make, first of all, because if you're a director and you get to play in the most audacious sandbox there is, which is the phenomenal Deadpool franchise, you're just, you count yourself lucky every day, which I did. Um, but to get to be there every day, seeing this team up that all of us as fans and audience members have waited 15 years for, at least, at least 15 years for, to get to see Hugh and Ryan in their most iconic roles, bringing their A plus of A games every day uh, was remarkable. And the fact that the three of us are friends of many, many years in real life as well made it that much sweeter. But maybe the most sweet part of this is imagining the team of medical professionals that are monitoring the vital signs of the entire Disney executive staff. <laughs> As they, I think it's like, I think that that first teaser trailer sort of got them used to the idea, but not quite that we're about to release the first R-rated movie in the MCU. And it's a coming, July 26th. Uh, you know, Sean, we have a tradition at uh, Marvel Studios panels where we don't want to just end, we want to end with one little extra thing. And you brought I've heard about that tradition. For this team to see. Yeah, I heard rumors that maybe there was going to be another trailer. Um, by the way, thank you, Internet, for the endless stream of rumors. Um, they are literally entertaining every day. Um, we do have a little something, but here's the challenge. There's so many spoilers and I live in constant fear of a Ryan assassination attempt because I got a big mouth and I don't want to blow it in this room today. Uh, but what we do have is a spoilerish free nine minutes oh. of our movie that we are still very much working on. In fact, be headed right back to the edit room, but we're gonna share it with you. I just noticed that massive screen. Uh, we're gonna share those nine minutes with you right now. This is not a trailer, this is something that uh, Sean and Ryan and the editors have put together just for CinemaCon. Enjoy it, everybody. Thank you yes. so much. Thank you for everything you do. We'll see you next year.